The Exorcism of Clara de Villanueva. Based on a true story in the bustling city of Manila in the year 1953, a young woman named Clarita Villanueva found herself ensnared in a nightmarish battle against forces she couldn't see but could feel with every fiber of her being. What you are about to hear is not a work of fiction, but a chilling account based on a true story. At just 18 years old, Clarita had been arrested for vagrancy, but her life took a harrowing turn when she began claiming that invisible demons were tormenting her. These malevolent entities manifested their presence by biting her mercilessly all over her fragile body. The wounds they left behind were not just figments of her imagination. They were real, and they bore witness to the supernatural horror that had consumed her life. News of Clarita's bizarre affliction spread like wildfire through the city. Doctors, reporters, and even the mayor of Manila himself were drawn to the mystery that surrounded her. They couldn't ignore the physical evidence before their eyes, and they couldn't deny that something inexplicable was happening to this young woman. The mayor, driven by concern for Clarita's well-being and perhaps curiosity, decided to take matters into his own hands. He believed that the power of faith might be the key to releasing her from the clutches of these unseen malevolences. Alongside a group of concerned citizens, he embarked on a mission to free Clarita from her tormentors. On a fateful day, a procession gathered at the small, dimly lit room where Clarita was held captive. The air was thick with anticipation and anxiety as the mayor, wearing his official regalia, stood before the young woman. He recited prayers and called upon divine intervention. But the demons within Clarita were unrelenting. They mocked his efforts and seemed to grow even more aggressive. Desperate and on the verge of despair, the mayor turned to the spiritual leaders of different faiths in the city for help. One among them was a humble Protestant minister known for his unwavering faith and the remarkable power of his prayers. With a heart full of compassion, the minister stepped into Clarita's room. He was not armed with elaborate rituals or grandiose displays of faith. Instead, he carried with him a simple, unwavering belief in the power of goodness and the love of God. He knelt beside Clarita, placed his hand on her trembling shoulder, and began to pray. As the minister's soft-spoken words filled the room, a sense of calm descended upon Clarita. For the first time in what felt like an eternity, she could feel the demons losing their grip on her. They writhed in agony as the light of faith enveloped her, and one by one they were expelled from her body. Clarita's wounds began to heal before the astonished eyes of those who had gathered to witness this incredible ordeal. The demons had been vanquished and Clarita was freed from their malevolent clutches. News of the miraculous exorcism of Clarita Villanueva soon spread far and wide. It became a symbol of faith triumphing over darkness, of unity in the face of the unknown. For Clarita, it marked the beginning of a new life, one free from the torment that had plagued her. As the years passed, the story of Clarita's exorcism became a beacon of hope for many, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the power of faith and the strength of community can overcome the most insidious of adversities. Clarita's name would forever be etched in the annals of history, a testament to the enduring human spirit and the unwavering belief in the divine. This is not just a story. It's a testament to the unexplained mysteries that occasionally touch our lives.